speaking of Golda, let me bring up Gordon Brown. We call him Goldfinger because he was such a financial wizard. He sold most of Britain's gold reserves at the bottom of the gold market. He was a wizard as the Iron Chancellor, to be sure. Now, it pains me to say what I'm going to say because I have literally known Gordon Brown well since both of us were teenagers. We were, I was his chairman of the Scottish Labour Party. I was 26, he was 28. I have been in politics with him for 50 years. I like him as a person, despite all of our political differences. I respect his intellect, but his grasp of reality, his grasp of self-awareness has clearly now entirely deserted him because just this day, he set out a whole manifesto of putting Putin on trial in a Nuremberg-style tribunal for the crime of making aggressive war. But Gordon Brown was effectively the number two in Tony Blair's government who paid for the entire bill of Britain's aggressive war, illegal, unprovoked war against Iraq, never mind against Afghanistan before it, never mind against Yugoslavia before it. Gordon Brown is as guilty as anyone on the earth of the war crime, the ultimate crime of launching aggressive war.